all right guys and welcome to your seventh android application development tutorial my name is mehul and in this tutorial i'm just gonna show you how to pretty much build up a basic android application using this activity main.xml but with the help of design so android does provide you a sort of gui interface if you are just if you just want to play around with your application and you could just probably make some more stuff by just getting rid of this border right here right there you can see then what happens is that you could just make use of all of these widgets text fields containers date time and this all uh, this custom tools right there to create your application the GUI way well that is pretty cool and awesome you could just delete these things and you could just drag this button right here on your screen you could just resize not really but from here actually you could just set its text this is the id we'll just take a look at that later on we we'll just say that this is um, my awesome button hit enter and as you can see it changes its size automatically you could just align it as well with the help of your cursor only and if you just see that it's pretty much in the center of any screen you switch to even the tv one so we are just not looking at tv right now but it's just good to know that your code works universally so you can just take a look at how this works then you could just add some other things like large text just place on of this then you can change this to like hello world and you have a bunch of options here as well you could see that this is text size you could just specify it as like 80 sp hit enter and it grows like anything so you know and what this sp stands and what this db means we're gonna discuss about that later on in our tutorials not for now because all of you guys who are coming from the web designing background would probably make use of this px but no px for android because android is installed on a very large you know diversity of devices so this px is not gonna work at all properly actually it would work but not properly so we are gonna make use of either dp or sp and i'm gonna show you when to make use of dp or when to make use of sp and what that really means but anyways what is our concern right now is to create a very stupid app so let's just concentrate on that and you could just resize this oh yeah then you could just even center it there should be a gravity somewhere in here if i'm all right here we go then you could just select this as center vertical well gravity actually has a very special meaning which we are gonna learn in our text mode but for now in the GUI mode as well what you can learn about gravity is that uh, it just switches your gravity inside container so just consider that this is your environment and then you switch the gravity so you say the gravity is top that means that all the elements would be attracted in this box towards top so for now it is just the text then gravity towards bottom would be the bottom then if I select both you could see that it's the equal attraction so Newton's third law applies here well anyways then for left we have left gravity extraction but it's still it's already on left so nothing fancy here then for right it just flows on right and you could just play around with these buttons then <clears throat> We just go with hide as well then there's are there are a lot of options and pretty much only some of them are useful not all so you would just play around a little bit and uh, you could actually just switch the gravity to center for now and if you just run this on your phone you could see that it would pretty much look the same as it looks like on that emulator stuff so you can see that this is my awesome button and it kind of responds but you don't have any event attached to it 
and we'll be learning about that later on so that's how pretty much you create a custom application using all this all these tools right here and feel free to try some more tools from here like radio button or checkbox switches and all that stuff and uh, once you're done then proceed to the next tutorial so if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching